Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends 4K action figure review on the Avengers Video Games Gamer vs. Ms. Marvel. I gotta give a big thanks to x Men 87 for finding this out in the wild and making it possible so I could buy it off him, and thanks to Justine for shipping it out and everything. And this video is brought to you by Shardimus Prime Music. Yeah, I recorded a new song called I Wanna Be Weird, and it was just a fun, silly song I recorded. Uh, I did the drums, bass, guitar vocals produced it uh, did everything so if you want to check it out link in the description below also of course check out x Manny 87 link in the description below now this uh figure review is actually going to be more like a comparison video um one thing i didn't discuss with the iron man or captain america uh, reviews is that you get this insert right over here that looks pretty cool i just want to show that off and you get your action figure poo poo just a little you know warning stuff and whatnot but i just think this is really cool it has this whole you know arc reactor kind of design to it with all the hexagons all over the place so i think that's pretty neat looking anyway uh the packaging you get to see the avengers right over here on the side and then on the back you can see the other figures from the wave you can see kamala khan ms marvel and then on the back it says uh whip smart with an optimistic personality kamala khan is determined to combat injustice wherever she finds it all right pretty cool and then uh there you see the avengers again you get the spot varnished a up there and nothing more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this figure open and and we throw all that stuff over there. And then uh, let's take a look at the figure right here. Okay, so I'm, I'm very uh, unenthused about this particular figure. I really think there's some things that could have been done different about it uh, to make it stand out, you know, more so than just a, a simple repaint because that's really what it is. It's a repaint with new boots and that's pretty much all we're getting uh, we get the same accessories that we'd gotten with the previous version and i really feel like that's where uh, hasbro could have done something pretty awesome over here by giving us new accessories that we could have swapped out with the other kamala khan that we had already gotten so or, or or our comic version you know whatever you want to call it but anyway you can see you get the long stretchy hand right there for the right side and get the l left stretchy fist right over there so you know same uh, sculpt and all that stuff paint is a little different you can see that you get a much more dull color gold on this one as opposed to this one right here the flesh tone is different as well so you could see that but you know pretty much the same thing I like the flesh tone on the comic version I mean spoiler alert yeah I just like the comic version overall uh, more so than this one but let's get a closer look at the head sculpt right over here and the rest of the figure just so we could um, get a closer look you know what I'm saying all right so the Again, the flesh tone is a lot uh, duller. That, that's what I want to say, which is, I guess, a little bit more realistic, but not really. I mean, these are both very natural looking flesh tones, I think. I do like this one more, though. I don't know. There's something about it I like it a lot more. And, you know, it looks like they used something kind of like a photoreal tech going on here with her face. Maybe if I really get close in there, you could see that. The eyes look a bit peeled, so that doesn't look bad. It's got a certain realism to it especially compared to this one. The sculpt is the same, but yeah, the paint apps are definitely different as far as the details in the face. I don't like this dull color blue. That bothers me, and I don't like this flattened gold color. I like this brighter gold color right over here. So that's neat. Getting a phone call from the piano player. And yeah, so the red is also very dull on this new one as opposed to this much more vibrant red. Uh, we get this beautiful gold trim throughout. We get some gold trim right up here, but uh, on the scarf, you can see you don't get the gold trim. You just get the little logo thingies right over here on the very bottom. This one does have the gold trim all the way throughout, or it looks like a little more. Yeah, yeah, it's a gold trim. I was going to say it's yellow, but yeah, you get the gold trim and, you know, the Kamala Ms. Marvel logos right over there at the end and you can see this one has you know, nice bright red leggings and everything and then this one has boots right over here which i thought were nico's boots right away and then i went and grabbed my nico figure and they're not so i think these are brand new correct me if i'm wrong but i'm fairly certain those are brand new boots and then uh, another big disappointing thing is you get this cool pattern right over here on the side i gotta say man i like kamala khan uh, you know, my distaste for this figure has nothing to do with how I feel about the character because uh, I think she reminds me of Peter Parker and Spider-Man's my favorite character. So I like Kamala Khan, Ms. Marvel. Uh, I'm very anxious to see her on screen. So all that stuff, like I like the character. So don't get me wrong here. It's just that, look at this. You get this pouch detail and then I don't know if you could see it, but, there, but there's this awesome little floral pattern right over here on the side. 
and there's these added seams and stuff going around here that just look really cool. I mean, I don't know. I would like to see that attention to detail on the figure itself, but no. No pretty flowers. Damn it. You guys know I love my pretty flowers, Hasbro. <laughs> All right, so that'd be funny if I was actually that worked up over not getting the flowers <laughs> on the figure. But anyway, yeah, overall, very dull. Um just not very, I'm just not enthusiastic about the figure at all. So let's do a quick articulation segment. Uh, all right, and just get the camera moving downward right here. I'm going to get this on manual so that you don't have to hear all that. So the head moves up just a tiny bit, down more so, side to side motion, a little bit of head wobbling, shoulders move outward that much, down, rotate a full 360. Single jointed elbow, bends in more than 90 degrees, rotates, the hands turn side to side, both hinge up and down, diaphragm joint turns side to side, diaphragm pivot moves forward just a little bit, back more so, and then you get hips that move outward very far. I like that there's cuts on the side right there, so that helps with that. She kicks forward that much, back that much, up with thigh cut, double jointed knees, boot rotation. Ooh, that knee joint got loose fast ankles move down they move up and she has beautiful ankle pivot let's get some s measurements going let's get some s measurements going is that what i just said i don't know but anyway let's get this uh, all measured up right over here and you can see that kamala khan is standing uh just under the six inch mark right Closer to just a little over five and a half inches tall. I'm really curious to see how much taller she is than the previous version because they have uh, one has the boots and the other one does not have the boots. So let's see that right there. Oh, they're very, very close in size. I mean, dude, when you look at these two, this one just pops so much more, right? The, the original, I mean, if you're going to redo the figure, add the extra goods, man. There's a whole bunch of opportunity over here with this figure that they could have added to it that, you know, they did not. So, bothers me. But, yeah, you can see uh, just a tiny bit taller right over here with this one compared to that one. And then let's go ahead and bring out Nico. She's got that super loose right wrist right over here. I'm surprised this thing shelf warmed so hard. But, you know, not everybody lives in your own world. Like in my own world of, of friends and stuff, like especially me and my friend Rodine, like we love Runaways. I thought Runaways was, you know, I didn't really watch all the show. Charlita One actually liked the show more than I did. Um, so, like, we all love Nico over here in my world. But I guess, you know all the peg warming uh, not as popular anyway uh for comparison to the other figures from this wave i've already reviewed we have uh the double left-legged iron man can i get an exchange uh, i i would rather have an exchange you know over anything else because you know th these video game figures while i don't really like any of them i could like the game and that's where i may decide to keep them and that's the whole, you know, when people say, oh, you're biased in your reviews, that's a perfect example of, of how everyone's biased in their videos. Because if you don't like the content, like, it's going to affect how you feel about it overall. You know what I mean? So if I didn't like this character so much, I would be even less interested in the figure. So anyway, there's your comparison right over there. All right. And let's get out. Uh, hey, you're in the pose I left you in from yesterday, you lazy bastard. Oh, jeez. But here is the Marvel Legends Big time badass Spider Man. So there you go. There's those two side by side. Not looking too bad. So let's get her into a pose and I'll close out of here. Um, I'm going to give this figure a sud rating of bash. I mean, you knew that, right? You knew I was going to say that because I'm just not, I just don't find this figure to be totally necessary. And it would be a figure, if I wasn't reviewing figures for you guys, I would totally just wait until the game came out and then try to hunt the figures down later on. That 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 would be the course of action. Um, as far as the comic figures from this wave, I would jump on all those right away, without a doubt. But these video game figures, definitely uh, not a thing that I am truly enthused about at all. So we'll see. The game could be super badass, and I could just be a super happy collector having all three of these but uh for the time being right now um yeah i would totally uh give this a pass um yeah really it, i feel like there's 
you know, the other two figures, I put a lot of blame on on the video game designers. Like, for this one, I put a lot of the blame on Hasbro. Because there's some missed opportunity over here from Hasbro's part. So, that just frustrates me quite a bit, man. So, I would like to know what you guys think. Please let me know in the comment section below. Is anyone out there more excited for this version compared to the comic version? I mean, is there anyone out there who's like, Oh, I hate the comic version. I'm so glad we got this one right over here. I want to know. So, yeah. Please support the channel by hitting the like button hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell and i'll have more reviews coming your guys way so stay tuned for that and i will catch you guys later peace